Hi, uh, I'm Miran Rysik. I'm a non-executive director on the Tipton and Coesley Building Society Board. Uh, I've had a long career in IT, uh, being on the operational board of a FTSE 100 business, uh, and then uh, I went into doing my own consultancy uh, and was invited to, to, to join the board of the Tipton. Um, the, we've been a Sopra uh, customer for many years, uh, so we've been using your core systems, the Summit system and Frontline for our uh, core uh, processes in the building society for, for many years. Um, I guess the key challenge for us was upgrading the system in order to give us some extra features and beginning to digitise some of the platform that we had to give our customers a better service. So I guess the challenge really was how did we modernise the platform so that we could compete in, in an ever-changing marketplace. Actually, I think it's quite difficult to differentiate in the marketplace, particularly when it comes to more core systems. So I look at Sopra Banking as a, a large organisation that's investing heavily in new technologies, integration uh, with, with other platforms, moving to the cloud, uh, digital channels. So I think the, the advantage that Sopra Banking has is more the scale and its ability to invest and to develop its platform uh, to give the systems around the, the edge of, the, uh, of our platform those uh, more competitive features. Well, the time you're asking me the question, we've got some immense volatility in the UK politically and economically. We've just come out of COVID. We've got high inflation, cost of living challenges. I think the mutual sector really has a passion for ensuring its customers are well looked after. It's kind of the bedrock of where we come from. However, we're being challenged by challenger banks, new entrants, etc. Uh, maybe businesses that have economies of scale and can really squeeze margins. So the challenges we face is still giving our savers uh, the best rates we can, offering the best products we can for our borrowers and trying to stay profitable so we can sustain, sustain our business. We've got challenges on all fronts. I think the building society sector is strong though. Uh, and I think if you talk to people around boards on, on building societies, we really do believe we're here for the long run. So actually, you know, ensuring that we give our customers the best service, controlling our, 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 our um, spend, controlling our costs is key. And I think increasingly we see digital as a key tool to help us compete and give our customers the best services. At the Tipton and Coesley, uh, we were one of the first to launch a, a mobile app to help our savers uh, access uh, their accounts. So we're always looking at ways that we can improve it and they're the sorts of challenges that we face. Wow, that's, that's a big question because if you look at a building society, uh, all building societies have a number of challenges that they need to balance. But I guess it's really looking after our customers ensuring our customers uh, uh, get the best service. So that customer centricity that Sopra uh, Banking have been talking about today and the ability to tailor how you engage with customers is absolutely critical. I'm a great believer in customer comes first and we were hearing a lot about that. So I think the biggest challenge is staying close to our customers and also bearing in mind it's not just the retail customer we also the building societies do a lot of business through brokers so actually having the right engagement and digital channels with brokers to help them give their customers uh, the best products they're the big challenges <coughs> um, well I sit on the board of the Tipton & Co's as an ED uh, and uh, taking on the role of NED, the skill set I'm taking to the board is that of technology and digital with a long career in IT prior to, prior to being a non-executive director. And we talk about SOPRA banking and the technologies regularly at board. So I decided I'd invest uh, a day of my time to come down here in London, uh, avoiding uh, train strikes and all that sort of stuff, and, and listen to what your executive team say, uh, is talking about and saying. I was genuinely impressed with the calibre of the executive team uh, and I was very uh, interested in to hear things like your roadmaps, your move to the cloud, 
uh, the digitisation, customer centricity. So all the topics that you've covered today have been really, really relevant. So uh, I found it a very relevant and informative day. And I did like your guest speaker in terms of looking forward into the metaverse and, 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 and cryptocurrencies and things like that. That was an interesting uh, uh, insight into the potential of technology five, ten years out or so. So it's been a very rewarding day uh, and I've probably met more people from uh, Sopra Banking than I have in the last five years or so. So it's been really, really good. So I, I'd recommend it as a, as a really good uh, opportunity to meet, meet some Sopra people.